Thank you for taking three minutes out of your morning to make sure you join Don Getling and Gino Franti on the National Real Estate Cafe for your daily dose of real estate market update. So just three minutes will make you a little smarter, at least a little more informed of what's really happening without any media spins. That's why we do this every day. And you get these texts to you directly to your phone by texting NREC to the number 58885. So believe it or not, over half of you, that's right, over half of you are planning to buy a home in the next five years. That's unbelievable, Don. I mean, I know that half sounds like, well, half are and half aren't. Half this country is looking to buy a home. That's an astronomical number. They'd be that willing means you to or I are planning to buy in the next five years. That's right. One Actually, out of I every <laughs> two. Yeah, there you go. And I just did, so yeah. not too long ago. And uh, you know what's funny is everybody's getting excited about real estate. There's a little, a little bit of excitement a brew, at least here in Southern California. So give us a shout. Give us a call at 855-DON-GINO and tell us if there's excitement in your real estate market. That's right. Or if we can answer any questions for you, you can also go to donandgino at gmail.com. There's a theme here again. Hmm. All right. All right. So, let's check out that other slide and get some right. data here. Here's something. What, what, what about them looking? Who's looking to buy? Those looking to buy and those who already own, why would they buy? Okay. Those looking to buy, 70% of those looking to buy a home will consult with a real estate agent yep. as they should. They absolutely As you should. should. Yep, 59% said they'll visit with an online real estate website. That's a nice place to start. That's a nice place to get your feet wet, but ultimately you should end up with a real estate agent. Okay, so this is one, be careful. 37% of you will consult family and friends. Well, are they the real professionals you need to help you with the biggest decision in your life? Well, I would say that 50% of that advice might be good. So my dad did a good job in advising me to buy property. My dad did a bad job in telling me what kind of mortgage to get. So right. careful with the advice you get. And 78% plan to get pre-approved before seriously learning. You know what? That number's low. Yeah. That means 22% of you are foolish. Or <laughs> going to fail. Yeah. Without a pre-approval, you are destined to fail because there's not enough inventory out there. So please get pre-approved. And notice the correlation. The, the numbers are similar for those that are not working with an agent are mm -hmm. similar to those that are not getting pre-approved. Hmm. Wonder if some of those are the same group. Yeah, there you go. 75% of the current homeowners set a budget. How about that? But 63% of American homeowners spent under six months looking. How about that? So you can find a home in less than half a year. We've seen people find it in less than a week. <laughs> yeah. Ultimately, at the end of the day, there's even 8% that bought by mistake, Don. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't even planning on buying. They just found the home of their dreams. Um, and or they found out they had more equity than they thought. So let's go to that last slide here. Yeah. All right. The only reason those of you that are not planning to buy it probably... Either A, you're already comfortable, B, your home's already paid off and don't need to move, right. or three, you don't know how much equity you have in your home. Uh, can I add a number four there? Okay. You think it's too hard to qualify. Oh, good one. Good okay, one, you hear that it's too hard to qualify. It's not too hard. You just have to do your due diligence, and maybe it takes a little bit of planning. And if you don't start today, you'll never get there. So you just got to make sure that you work with a professional who's willing to spend the time with you and say, if you're not a ripe banana today, if you're a green banana today, you'll still be able to buy a home soon. You'll ripen, but you need to take the right steps. You need to fix your credit. You need to get your tax returns done properly. You need to make sure to collect documentation to prove your income. All right. According to Gino, even a monkey can buy a home. <laughs> you heard it right here. Not what I said. <laughs> On the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Getley and Gino Fonte, get these texts to your phone, NREC to the number 58885. Check us out at nrecafe.com.